Congratulations on your first win, Kevin. Thank you. Very, very grateful for that. It was um, it was fun. The players had little celebrations in the locker room, which was really cute of them. But it was it's nice. It's nice to get that one right because I think sometimes uh, a lot too much is made of it. But I understand why. You know, Lisa is iconic and taken over a lot of new faces, so it, it feels really good to get it. And now I'm glad that we got it, and now now we can hopefully really roll. What would you give your team on scale of A, a to A B C D? Uh, you know, I think that's I, I I try not to grade until I watch the film. Um, I thought I thought the whole thing we had some moments, but we just really lacked a lot of consistency, and that's the thing I would probably you know grade us pretty low in consistency. I think when we were working on the actions within our offense, we had too many one pass shots. But when we really worked our offense and we did that consistently, we got a few runs. Um, defensively, when we really kind of put our head down and had a presence in there, um, then we were pretty good. But it was the lack of consistency. So I'd, I'd get, give us a lower grade in, in that. But part of it is with these games, you're still trying to figure out who your people are, right? We have a lot of depth, but you're trying to figure out how and when and who and what combination. So we're kind of, sometimes we're kind of messing with it. And then you got something going, but you want to try that piece. So I think these games, um, uh, we, maybe this game, we might have set everybody up for that inconsistency a bit. I asked the players this, but you know, the, the schedule obviously ramps up and non-conference and obviously Big Ten play down the road. This game, you probably don't get as much out of it if you win by 35, but mm -hmm. does, it, does it feel like this game, you know, to have some adversity yeah. and, and test the team early before you, you start playing? Yeah, you know, I think it was. I don't know necessarily it was a test. Uh, yeah, I mean, the adversity piece, I mean, adversity is when, you know, you're really going south, right? I think this is a game where uh, you can get internally frustrated because you feel like you should do this better and be better and all those kind of things. But I have to also take some breaths because we are really young. We are really, um, they're, they're just six of them are brand new to our system and eight returners, but really only seven returners. Um, and a key cog of our wheel is Sid Affolter. And Sid steadies a lot of waters. And um, so when I'm in the game and I'm thinking, you know, wow, we need to stretch it. We needs to be bigger. Then I, when I put my, you know, you know, hat of improvement on, it's probably going to look like that a little bit at times, um, but our, our schedule is very ambitious, and um, you know, it's probably good that this game still afforded us to not look so great at times, and then we look decent in a couple of minutes, and then combo people, because when Sunday hits, boy, it's it, it takes on a whole new feel. Speaking of Sid, uh, I know mm -hmm. you're saying that you were hoping that mm -hmm. you get some yeah. today. Yeah. Where does she stand for Sunday? Yeah, you know, I think it's the same. I was a little hopeful uh, when I had my our press conference with you guys, uh, but you know, it's there's one thing to swim and one thing to run on those treadmills that are suspension, and a whole nother thing to close out and defensive slide and you know turn on a dime. So we we want to be slow and cautious. Um, so we decided we would just kind of hold her a little bit and. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see. I, I don't want, I mean, the most important thing we do is in the Big Ten and uh, the Big Ten season. And I want to make sure that we don't, you know, put her in a position where we play a couple and then we sit out a couple of games, play a couple, and then you're, you're continually to, uh, you know, it's like an accordion and can, can't ever get traction. So we're, we're going to um, err on caution. Speaking of injuries, saw Hannah mm -hmm. go to the tunnel, obviously came back for yeah. a so I'm assuming she's okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was just, you know, I, I don't even know what happened. I just know I saw her on the floor, my heart dropped for a sec. Um, but then Raina told me she's good, and I think they just maybe adjusted. A, I think it was an ankle, but I, I think she's good. Yeah. Can you, you guys just look in preseason. You guys have a lot of balance on this team, despite all the new faces. We knew that freshmen were getting in minutes. I guess how satisfying was it that, you know, Taylor Stremlo went in there, provided boost. You had a mix of veterans. I think Addie O'Grady had a back to back yeah. basket, so mm -hmm. since it opened third quarter. Just, that balance and having those young players understand what you guys need at a certain time yeah. this early. I guess how rare is yeah. that? How good is that? Well, I mean, I'm, we have a really good freshman class, and, and Taylor Strimlow is – she's gutty. Tra Taylor Strimlow has that feel, right? I think Lucy said that pretty well. 
Taylor is a rare freshman that plays without fear. You know, she did, she didn't make a pass and she's not worried. She didn't look over right away and like, am I going to come out? She gonna make the pass because she thought it was a good, a good pass. It might be a terrible pass, but she's going to make it, you know? And I think that's what's fun because she is crafty. She's smart and she's, she's a competitor. So she's got some, uh, the intangibles she's mature in. She's still a freshman in some of the decisions, but I'll take that any day. And I love what I'm seeing out of Taylor Shrimlow. And, um, and she'll, I mean, she'll play 40 minutes if you need her to, she'll play zero and she'll be the same kid. And um, I think, you know, I love what I saw out of her tonight. And I think her mixing in with the, with the upperclassmen um, has, has been a really good thing all ever since she got here in June. Mm -hmm. Tegan, Ava, and, and Taylor, how much are all three of them really just embracing getting thrown to the fire and, and the opportunity that is there for them? Yeah, I, I feel like they definitely are. I think Tegan and Taylor um, are really doing a, just a great job of coming in in their moments and they're feeling it and they're kind of just going with it. Uh, Ava is, is processing a lot. And uh, with freshmen and bigs sometimes, uh, you know, they're, the game goes really fast. Um, and what they could do in high school and what they were required to do, it is nothing on the inside. And they don't know if they should foul. Are they fouling if they post up too hard? They, you know, they bury someone and they're out of position. It just takes a little bit of time. And I think you'll continue to see Ava, you know, climb. But um, the, bigs are, the bigs are an interesting sort, right? They, they're, they've had so much um, thrown at them in high school, and then they come here and it's a whole different ball game. I, I can't explain that to you, but uh, bigs have a lot of different processing to do. Um, bigs don't play pickup with the same uh, intensity that the guards do. Um, and, and then when you get here, it goes fast for all the freshmen, but it really is a faster game for bigs. So uh, you're, you're gonna see Ava Hyden really, really shine, but it's, it's gonna go it's going to take a little time. I know the film will reveal more mm -hmm. for the defensive side of things, but it seems like you guys got your hands on a fair share of yeah. passes and things like yeah. that, but also gave up some three-pointers. Just yeah. curious to what your thoughts are from the defensive side. Well, I think number one, what is clear, and I've tried to tell the team, is you know, last year and two years ago, you're getting everybody's best shot. This program will continue to get everybody's best shot. Because A, I mean, can I just give a shout out to our crowd again? I mean, the sellout, but people showing up for the non-conference games, not just waiting for the big one, just a great percentage of people here, right? And so you're going to get everybody's best shooting night. And if you're not bringing the presence consistently and you let them get on a roll, it's very cool for them to play in this environment if they're a competitor. So. Northern Illinois, I mean, I really, she, uh, their coach is a friend of mine, and uh, she's great. Um, two of the two I ones on that team I really like, you know, man, Reagan Barkema and Sid McRae, right, you know, from right down the road. Uh, I think the world of those two kids. And they came in and, you know, they shot, I think, out of respect, right? So you have that, number one. Anytime home, home area kids come back to your arena, you better be ready. So they did their jobs. We, uh, it was that mixed bag of consistency. I liked the hands we got on things, but I didn't like our help side positioning. And then we would be too helpful when we didn't need it on a drive and you'd let a wide open Sid McRae. So again, I, I'd like to think that's, that's youth a little bit, even though some of our, our you know, veterans could make those mistakes. Um, but I, I just think, again, it's got to be time and film and film and time until we really get in in our heads um, how important it is to stay true to positioning. Jan, obviously, you were on the sideline last year when Kylie kind of was playing a reserve role coming off the bench, you know, shooting threes, doing what she needed to. <clears throat> As she comes into the starting lineup, she had a hell of a game today. Mm -hmm. Like you said, only double, double, 14, nine. Right. Six, six deals on the defensive end. Now I don't think yeah. brought that up yet. What have you seen from her that she's done in the offseason or just early on in camp? To yeah. Really improve on her game this season? You know, that's, I think, every coach when a kid um, stays true to the, the progression, right, the process, and is biding their time. And then when they get their moment, all the work they've done in the dark, all the work they've done to prepare a Gabby, to prepare a 
uh, Gabby Marshall from last year, a Kate Martin, uh, a Caitlin Clark, and they were there and part of it, but in the shadows. And then when they get their moment, I mean, it kind of makes me choke up. And Kylie, you know, we recruited her in high school, and she just is a great, great player. And I think um, I would love nothing better, yes, for our team to have the success. It'd be great if she does that every night. But I love it even more for who she is. And she has worked tirelessly, and she has earned every bit of, you know, the opportunity to start and, and having this great of a night. And I'm so hopeful that will give her confidence and keep going and keep building because she is one of our most versatile players. She can defend our best defender. Maybe her and Lucy have to ask Coach Abby Stamp with her lead guards, um, you know, who really between those, if you'd say who was the best defender, but both of them. Uh, but Kylie can attack. And when she gets her three ball going, man, she's a threat on a lot of different levels. So we need Kylie to continue to, to have that type of consistency. But if you know Kylie, you'd, you'd be as happy as Abby and my staff are for, for her tonight because she's, she's had a road, you know, has that injury, has a transfer, has been a role player, and I think now she's coming into her own. Coach, uh, at, I guess kind of um, that's a lot of great stuff about Kylie. I guess kind of adding on to that, um, she was your second most played player tonight, and she's kind of come a long way to be here. It feels like last year, obviously, a lot of eyes were on Caitlin. Prior to this season, a lot of eyes were on Lucy. Tonight, a lot of eyes are also on Kylie um, because, you know, she really went out there, gave a hell of a performance for everyone. So I guess what is one thing, what is kind of like your role in her kind of reaching that potential, and what do you think is something that the team or the program has done to prepare for events like tonight? Because hopefully tonight's not going to be the last mm -hmm. time we see that. Yeah. You know, I think just, um, I mean, the, the trick with coaching is, you know, every coach wants to, or every player wants to believe, be believed in, right? And, you know, you probably have in every team in America, the top five, they feel believed in, right? Maybe the two that come off the bench. But I think that's the, that's the trick is to make sure that your roster knows that when they get in, that you do believe in you. I do believe in you, but I also believe that the person starting at, at this point is just a little bit, you know, better. It makes it flow better, right? So I think with Kylie, I think she's felt that belief and has stayed steady. I think continuing is just putting Kylie in that uh, position of knowing that, you know, she's a, a steady go-to player, right? And I think when that clicks in her head, I, I'd like to think we'll see a lot more consistency. Um, but I think that'll happen as this team continues to grow up together. Um, you know, Lucy is, I hope we're seeing the tip of her iceberg too. You know, Lucy, I mean, you're, you're transferring in and then you're coming in and you're trying to learn what we want her to do and, by the way, lead as a point guard that's been here for four years, right? And she's really doing a, a really good job and, and she's so selfless. Like, you see her kind of like hesitate and should I shoot it, should I not shoot it? And, you know, she's, um, we're trying to encourage her just to lean in, right? Go with your gut. And I think when they all start to learn how to play together, uh, and that that chemistry builds within them. I think we'll start to see a few more of those moments when it was passed around the horn tonight, or we penetrated and we passed and we finished. Um, and I think that's you know what we've seen a lot in the last decade of our our program. But uh, I said it before, this offense is it's kind of like a fine wine. It it takes time. It it takes a. Uh, you know, development. The longer you can do it, you usually look a little better. So we got to find that form, and our staff does, to get us where we'd like to be in a, a really quick amount of time.